Welcome to the Principles of Truth podcast with Kurt and Ellie. Join us as we discuss various topics and compare them to the one truth, God and His Word. How do these things we see and hear stack up to that truth? Let's look together and find out. This one is called, And the Donkey Spoke. And let's talk about how or why a donkey (laughs) would speak. We're going to be reading from Numbers 22, 28 today. Mm -hmm. And it says, Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey, and she said to Balaam, What have I done to you that you have struck me these three times? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what happened. Yes. How did the donkey speak? Why did the donkey speak? Mm -hmm. So this guy named Balaam mounted up on his donkey and was heading out to go do something that God did not want him to do. Mm -hmm. And so God placed an angel in the path so that they couldn't pass. Mm -hmm. Well, the donkey saw the angel and stopped and Mm -hmm. refused to move because she was scared. Mm -hmm. Balaam did not see the angel. Mm -hmm. So Balaam became angry with the donkey and started to hit it Mm -hmm. and scold it. Why aren't you moving? Move. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you to move. Move. I'm paraphrasing. (laughs) <laughs> and the donkey refused to move. Mm-hmm. So the donkey, because it refused to move, Balaam decided, well, I'm going to go off around the path. Mm-hmm. I don't know why the donkey won't walk on the path, but let's go a different way. So they went a little bit further, taking a different route, and the donkey stopped again mm-hmm. because the angel blocked the path again, mm-hmm. and the donkey saw it. And this happened, that was the second time, so they took another path, and the angel again blocked the path. God clearly did not want Balaam to do what he was doing. Mm. And so the third time, the donkey pressed to the side up against a wall that was there and mm. actually crushed Balaam's foot, mm. injured his foot up against the wall. Mm-hmm. Well, he began beating the donkey. Mm. And it was at that point that the donkey actually spoke. Why are you beating me? Mm-hmm. Why have you beaten me three times now? Mm-hmm. I've stopped, and I'm adding to it. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to add to. But basically, why have you hit me these three times? And she also said something to the effect of, have I ever mistreated you in the past? Have I ever not done what you wanted me to do all these years that I've been your donkey? And here's the funny part. Mm-hmm. Balaam actually answered and said mm-hmm. no. So this guy is beating his donkey and then having a conversation with the donkey. Mm-hmm. And how funny would that be? Mm -hmm. And I wonder what his people were thinking that were with him, Mm -hmm. hearing him converse with a donkey. Mm -hmm. But that's not what the video is about today. It's about why the donkey spoke Mm -hmm. and how the donkey spoke. Mm -hmm. You see, God used that donkey to prevent Balaam from Mm -hmm. doing something that he wasn't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that God's anger was aroused Mm -hmm. against Balaam for going. And God did everything possible to stop him. Mm -hmm. Put that angel in front of the donkey three different times, and Balaam just flat out refused to stop. Mm -hmm. And it was only when the donkey spoke that Balaam realized, I better listen. Mm -hmm. Because how often does a donkey speak? Right. (laughs) They don't. They don't. (laughs) But, you know, sometimes we're just like Balaam. Mm -hmm. God will try to show us something, whether it's to get us to do something or to prevent us from doing something, God will put things in our path Mm -hmm. or he will speak to us in a way that we don't recognize Mm -hmm. or we question and we still continue to plow through Mm -hmm. and try to do what it is that we're trying to do. But God will speak to us in ways that we don't always catch. We don't always understand them. Mm Because we don't picture God speaking through whatever. Yes. So here it wasn't so much the fact that Balaam refused to recognize Mm -hmm. the donkey speaking to him. He refused to recognize, first of all, that he shouldn't have gone. Mm -hmm. And then when he was blocked three separate times, he refused to recognize that, hey, I better not go. Mm. He didn't recognize the fact that God was preventing him or trying to prevent him from going. So Mm -hmm. that was God's way of speaking to him by blocking the path. Mm -hmm. But when he failed to recognize that, God had to resort to speaking through the donkey. And so many times, and we've had examples in our own lives where we've either done something or not done something, Mm -hmm. and God has been trying to show us. Mm. And, you know, there was one particular example where we had been in a situation and we thought we had the answer to the problem that we were facing at the time. Mm. But our answer, the the answer that we had was a human answer. Mm -hmm. 
It wasn't a God answer. And so we were only doing what we knew to do mm -hmm. to try to solve this problem. And God spoke to you one day and said, don't you want me to help you? Oh, mm -hmm. Won't you let me help? Yes. And it turned out that God had a solution to our problem mm -hmm. that was something that we would never have thought of doing. Mm -hmm. And his solution turned out far better yes, it did. than what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. The solution was quicker. It was more thorough. Mm -hmm. And it turned out better for us in the end. Yeah, I think sometimes we don't realize how much God has, you know, he wants the best for us. Yeah. You know, he has our best interest, you know, and mm -hmm. he will speak to us in ways that should get our attention because yeah. he knows us best right. too, you know. Yeah. So if we're ignoring him, he's not going to give up on us. He's going right. to keep trying to mm -hmm. speak to us and to right. get us to pay attention because he wants the best for us. And I think sometimes our fighting him, maybe sometimes we don't know that we're fighting him, but I think if we knew it was him, mm -hmm. I mean... Sometimes we know it's him and we just don't want yeah. to do it, period. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Let's face stubborn. it, we can be stubborn mm -hmm. and we can be hard at times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can we can say, no, yeah. I'm going to try this and, and hopefully you'll change your mind and come along with me. Right. But God doesn't change his mind and no. he doesn't come along with us. No. <laughs> he will speak to us and mm -hmm. if it takes a donkey, sometimes he'll use a mm -hmm. donkey to get our attention or whatever it takes to get our attention. But right. Most times it's something that he knows we know better. Mm. For instance, if the time he spoke to me that day and said, mm. don't you want me to help? I even said back to him, well, Lord, we already have things in the motion. You know, they're yeah. already in the motion. But, right. I mean, what are we to do now? We've got right. this going on. We've got that going on. And it's yeah. like, well, you have to figure out, make a choice at that time. If you want him to help you, you need to stop those things. You need right. to cut them off and yeah. let him help. And it's right. as simple as that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we complicate it. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. here, I'm talking to God, <laughs> the creator, <laughs> our creator, yeah. and I'm saying, you know, we, well, we've already started this thing, you know, we've mm -hmm. already done this, we've already done that, and he's like, all he said is, don't you want me to help? And we right. have to choose at that point and say mm -hmm. yes or no, and right. we have to submit ourselves to him and allow him to help us and right. open up in a way that we will listen to him however way he may want to speak to us mm -hmm. and take his advice and move in that direction. Right, because God's answer is always the best answer. That's right. Our answers may be good, mm -hmm. or we may see them as good, right. and they may work to a certain degree, but God's answer is the perfect answer, mm -hmm. and it works every time. That's right. And so if we are in a situation, we've had something that's been ongoing and is just seems long and dragged mm. out, we need to ask ourselves, mm. are we hearing God? Mm. Are we ignoring God? Are mm. we pushing God away? Mm -hmm. Are we not hearing him with the answer that he wants to give? Right. And you know, that's not always the case. So mm. we're not saying that that happens every time, mm. but sometimes we need to stop and look mm -hmm. and ask God, is there some other way? Was there something that you told me that I missed? Right. And listen for his mm. answer. Mm. I think a humble heart, you know, humbly mm -hmm. going to him and just yeah. asking him, guide me and, and speak to me however yeah. way you want to show yeah. me and whatever way you want to show me. And mm -hmm. I think us being willing to take what he's showing us mm -hmm. and listen to him and, yeah. and walk it out mm -hmm. is, it's a humbling thing. Humility is like and, a big thing. <laughs> because we think we know, you know, yeah. we think we know. Right. Oh, and my. it was like you said, we had already set the wheels in motion mm -hmm. in several different areas mm -hmm. as part of our solution. Mm -hmm. And your fear was, well, God, what do we do? If we do this, then somebody's feelings might get hurt or we may not even be able to stop this right. thing. Yeah. God made a way. He did. And, you know, I think it's important that we know that he has a plan mm -hmm. and he's going to line it up with his plan. Right. And we have to pay attention to that. He's already has a plan for our lives. Mm -hmm. I, I think sometimes that's very hard to understand. Yeah, well, then why is. are we here? You know, right. what are we doing? Yeah. If he's already got a plan. Why can't we just do this and this? But he has a plan for us. Mm -hmm. And... In order for us to walk that complete plan out, mm -hmm. we have to do it his way. We have to. And if it takes a donkey <laughs> crushing our leg up against the side of a wall, right. then maybe we need that sometimes right. because when I'm listening and he has mm -hmm. a better plan and his plan is what's going to be best for right. us. 
Exactly. Um, I'm not saying I want to get hurt or anything like that. But, but, <laughs> that you know, was an extreme situation right. because God tried to stop them. This was the third time. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't necessarily that God made the donkey crush his right. foot. And he was beating the donkey. I right. mean, anybody that's, anybody that's getting beat, you're going to react, you right. know. And yeah. um, we just need to, we need to make sure it doesn't go that far. <laughs> right. There you Don't go. go to yep. the extreme. Exactly. But I think the whole purpose of this is to be open to hearing God's voice yeah. and however he wants to speak to us. Right. Let's not force him to speak through a donkey to get our attention. Yes, that's right. But Amen. if he does, we need to listen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So let's not get our foot crushed. Yes. <laughs> And let's not force God to talk to us through a donkey. Yeah. That'd be like us catching a fish and the fish starts talking to us. Oh man, you're going back. I'm throwing you back. No, we have to listen to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. We have to listen. If you guys would like this, share, share it, it, comment on it, subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. Yes. We love you all very much. We love you all, yes. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yes. That's it for now. So until next time, you take care, stay close to God, yes. and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast. If you did, we invite you to share it with others. Also, if you'd like to receive a daily Bible devotional to help you learn to apply God's Word to your daily lives and to strengthen your walk with Him, please visit BibleDevotionalsOnline.com where you can sign up to receive one of our devotionals by email each morning. It's 100% free and takes less than a minute to sign up. Again, that's BibleDevotionalsOnline.com.